Hey, what's going on, guys? Joe at OMGRC.com. So I'm going to give you guys a little update. A little update here in just a few. So I appreciate you guys joining in and uh, kind of working out a little bit of the kinks and other little stuff that's going kind of going on. Uh, so the, the garage is pretty large. Yeah. So let's see. Set a reminder. Let's see. Goodbye. <clears throat> No, no, no. All right. Yeah, I've been moving stuff around because of this. I've been painting like crazy as far as with this 10 scale garage. So, yo, what's up, Owens RC Garage? Hey, appreciate you jo joining in, man. So, um, I'll have to do like a mic check to see where we're at with it because I just moved everything around here so it's all over the place. So, all right. And. I figured around this time, 6.15, you know, I usually will go live on Fridays at 7, but I figure I'd kind of give you guys a little bit of an update, so I know, <clears throat> excuse me, notifications are one of those things that just, it happens, but I want to kind of show you guys the progress of this thing. Your mic is muted. Are you sure about that? Is it? I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if you're saying. Let me check. <clears throat> Hello, hello. Yeah, it works. All right, it's not muted. Uh, can't hear you. All right, I can hear you fine. That's what I thought. Um, I can hear it on mine too, so I know it works. So something's wrong with your phone or whatever you're using. Let's see here. Anyway, uh, what's going on, John? Appreciate you joining in, man. Says, what's up, Island RC Duke? So. Change everything? Yeah, I figure you're just kidding. Haha. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, what's up? Oh, the garage is looking great. Yeah, man, appreciate that, Hellrider. It's been beating me up, man, to do all this. This thing is massive. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of it, too, since you're only seeing three out, three bays out of the five there. I, it looks like it, so and a little bit more to the shop. It's not done. Uh, I still got to actually paint the outside of it, but the interior of it, for the most part, it's pretty much complete, I, I think, you know, at this point. It'll probably ongoing as well. So, so yeah, man. What's up, Charles? Appreciate you joining in. Yeah, man. Um, so I'm going to give you guys like a little tour of it here too because you can just see a little bit of the stripe. I got RCs on top of there. I moved stuff around, cabinets around just to accommodate this thing. So give me a minute here. I'll kind of show you a little bit of it so you guys can... Kind of get it all there. How much I'll see in the chat. Let's go ahead. I'll give you a little bit more detail inside of there. Yeah, guys, if you like this video, man, smash that thumbs up, man. Definitely appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm just kind of messing with it a little bit. I know I'm a little bit shaky because I'm holding it off to the side. Um, but yeah, came out. it's coming out really well as far as that goes. It's just now this, obviously, like the ramp here, kind of just hovering. I use, like, this black cloth just to kind of blend it in a little bit. But, yeah, things pretty cool as far as I like it. I got to work on the doors and, and all that kind of stuff, but I did put LED lights in it, so that way, obviously, we can see what's inside of it. But it's looking pretty good. I like it. I think it's coming out pretty well. Um, we even got the cars. We got some cars sitting up on top as well. So what I'm going to do here, too, if you guys can hear me, uh, you know, this is where the ONGRC.com will sit. And I want to do that with some lights in there and then also probably some lights in the back. But I got a, got a lot, there's a lot of space in there. Obviously, you can still see we've got, you know, these are 10 scale RCs that are sitting in here. So, you know, we can, we can go back. I mean, I can't reach the back of this thing anyhow. It's like my arm won't, won't reach back there. So, you know, that's a little bit of a problem. So I need some like little claws to actually get my hand all the way in the back. Now, as far as like, I know somebody was asking me like, oh, um, you know, when it comes to some of the cars coming out. Now, this one has really wide tires on it. This is the uh, Gen 8. So you can see like, in, 
it, it barely it makes it through there, but it's not like with the stock tires. And I'm gonna take these stock tires off anyhow because of the fact that um, it still has clearance as far as like it's the headroom and stuff like that too. Your normal crawlers, you know, as far as like these little guys here, there's no problem as far as there. You know, they they come out just fine. Um, so that's not a big deal on my little fire hydrant. I had it sticking up. Yeah, man, uh, I think this thing came out pretty darn well. I'm pretty happy with it. So we got a little bit of our pit crew over here. Working on the car. Got a little air compressor. Mad bug in the background. Got to have the OMGRC back there. Um, even like the floor, if you can see it too. I textured that. And then put these little inserts in here just to kind of, kind of like that caution thing when you, you know, go into, um, you know, one of those um, mechanic, whatever, service centers, service stations, whatever. So I'm liking it. I like the little red stripe that's on there as well. It's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and see what you got. See what you guys are chatting about. But um, yeah, man, it's coming out pretty good. What's up, bro? Oh, it looks awesome. Oh, yeah, definitely appreciate it. Let's see here. I think we're good. So, yeah, I want to kind of give you guys that update on it. Anyhow, I'm going to probably do more of a video once it um, gets to a little bit more completion. I'm going to have my friend Brian come over tomorrow. That's the game plan. So we can probably paint this thing up a little bit more, uh, stage it for some other little stuff, potentially. Uh, we'll come up with something on that one. Um, as far as tomorrow's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. As I mean, i got some other videos ready, but depends on how everything kind of goes tomorrow. But I'm, I'm digging this thing. This thing's I'm liking it quite a bit. So let's see here. Anyhow. So, what was that? Oh. What? I'm sorry, man. Just this thing is messing me up. So let's see. The floor came out great. Yeah, man. Island RC Duke. Yeah, it did come out really well. So, and um, thing stinks a little bit as far. I use oil based paints. Kind of a, they're kind of a pain in the butt to work with. Uh, it's kind of like I don't use them very often, so the oil base uh, it was a little tricky, but the floor came out really well. I used some little textures and stuff like that to, uh, you know, kind of make it look like a you know a real garage a little bit. So I just kind of came up with something there. I really didn't look at anybody else's garage to kind of get any ideas. I'm like, okay, that looks like that would probably work. So that's what I did, man. Are you going to put a lift in it? Oh, I don't know, Hell Rider, if I'll put a lift in it or not. Uh, it just depends. And more than likely, I will eventually something like that. I don't know where I'll get them from as far as lift. I know that you can 3D print some of them, those little lifts or whatever. So I've looked at those too as far as doing it. So it is something I want to do because I think it's going to make it just make it look more like a garage anyhow, having a lift in there. What's up, RC Addiction Garage? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, Jeff? Appreciate you joining in, man. Awesome garage, man. I appreciate it. So it's coming out really well. I'm pretty happy with it, other than it's huge <laughs> as far. So just so you guys know too, I, I did a video on it, what, yesterday or so? Anyway, um, so the dimension's like 80 inches wide or long, and then it's what, um, 26 inches tall, and then 36 inches deep. So yeah, it's, it's pretty big, man. So it took my table. So the table I used to have all the time, I've used that for doing videos and all that. It took it. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep it up on this, but for now, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'd like to actually have, if I'm gonna keep it, is to have like a little a ledge or whatever so I can have actually a cars or a, car, a couple cars sitting out in front of it, something like that. So I might do some kind of little lip to it eventually or something else. Love it, man. Nice. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that, Tori. So, yeah, man. Um, I will. I do have a you know, thing to automate it a little bit. Like I said, I'll probably I'll do some more little lights to it. Just kind of spice it up. And as far as the garage doors, I do you have garage doors for it? So that'll be something um, I'll have to tinker with as well to make those so they can go up and down. And then, like I said to you guys, too, because it does have the uh, five bay doors, we can put OMG RC on those doors. So that'd be kind of cool when it's all closed. I like that. That'd be cool. That'd be real cool. Wow, that thing looks killer, Joe. Oh, appreciate that bang your head, man. Appreciate that, Darren. Yeah, man, it's coming along pretty well. So, like I said, uh, the interior is pretty much done on it. It's just the exterior. So, there's, you know, you're kind of looking at it. It's not complete as far as that part goes. But, um, and it's not glued or anything like that or nailed together. It's actually just kind of 
pieced in there like kind of like a puzzle. So it's all held together. That way it's got the roof on there, so that way I put some of the cars up on top of it. But I'm, I'm kind of blown away with it too. I'm just like, wow, it looks pretty... I mean, I'm happy with it because, I mean, it's not something... Um, it's different, man. I mean, it's different. I mean, I've seen other people with the garages, but I don't think I've seen a garage... I don't know if this large or not, but I wasn't kind of going for that. Just figure, you know, five bay doors. Let's go with something, you know, fairly big so I can put a few cars in there. Uh, yeah, so it's actually, uh, I was pretty happy with it. It's, it is really deep. So like I said, um, it's hard to get my hand back there. I almost need some little grabby tools or whatnot. So yeah, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Looking great, OMG. Hello, all. Oh, what's up, Barbecue? Appreciate you joining in, man. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys have questions on it. Were you going to get into the, oh, the scale. When am I going to get into the scale, right? Yeah, I know. So getting there, getting there. Definitely in there right now. Especially with the garage, man, that's, I'm liking it. I think the colors came out pretty well with it. I think um, when it, because I was like, oh, what colors am I going to paint this thing? But I know most garages, even the outside's like, they're kind of white, whatever, but I'm not, I'm not really sure. That's why I've kind of left it, because I'm, I'm kind of in limbo with the exterior of it. So I'm not, you know, I go by quite a few garages, and I'm like, they're all white. <laughs> I'm like, but this is a primer that's on it. So if I do anything, I want it to, I don't know, if I want a gray, or I want something that's going to make it pop a little bit, too. But it's going to look like an old garage, anyhow. So it's not like a real super modern kind of garage. It's a garage, man. It's working. It's progress. You know, it's get the job done. So I definitely like it. What's up, Riff Raff RC man? Appreciate you joining in. It's actually not, not seen any anything like that, Joe. You really got the OG with it. Yeah, man. I appreciate that one. Oh my God. <laughs> or should I say OMG? Yeah, man. Definitely OMG, man. It's a, uh, it's oh my God, man. As far as the garage, so uh, pretty crazy. Uh, but um, I'm really happy with it, man. Um. Big thanks to my uncle for helping me out a lot on this thing, too. So, definitely with his skills. So, we're for, hey, Joe. <laughs> Let's see. How's it going, brother? Let's see. Uh, just stopping in to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh, appreciate you stopping in. Uh, Riff Raff RC to support the, support the family, the RC family. Um, definitely smash that thumbs up, too, guys. Definitely appreciate it, too. So, just been busting butt doing this. Um, like I've moved around cabinets and stuff like that too before the video I was like, okay, I got it. I'm trying to get this all in the picture Actually, my mic is extended as far as it will go and I know I had like an extension mic But it made a lot of noise in there. So my basically I'm at the limits of my microphone at this point in time Just try to get the scale. So we got you know three bays out of the five that are there So I'm gonna I'll probably show you guys again real quick since some of you guys just kind of jumped in Let me go ahead and give you the tour again Pretty proud of it anyhow, so I'm definitely stoked. So, yeah, definitely smash that thumbs up, man. Definitely appreciate it. So let me go ahead and give you guys another tour of the garage real quick because, you know, definitely happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys that. Yeah, you guys can see it. I know it keeps going, right? <laughs> so that would be the end right there. <clears throat> And we can see our, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that again so you guys, I'm going to give you guys another little tour here real quick. So we go ahead, so we got the top on here, a little bit of the lid, what have you, so yeah. So coming down here, so let me give you guys a little closer up look of everything, just to kind of give you that detail of that floor. So I got to say that floor... Yeah, again, man, got to pat myself on my back, man. As far as that floor came out, pretty awesome. So I'm definitely digging it there. You guys don't spill any oil on this floor, man. It's new. So we got the little air compressor. We got the OG Mad Bug in the background. Definitely digging that there. And we got, we got a little LED light up in the top there. A big old uh, Gen 8 sitting in there. We got a Range Rover just chilling, ready for some action. And then also, uh, sorry, I know that I'm probably talking a little bit low and you guys can't hear me. So let me, sorry about that. Um, and then we got a little tire system in the back there as well. Got our V8 blocked hanging there. Gonna do a motor swap. 
So yeah. Um, and then again, out the outside of it, you guys know just or you don't. If you don't know, now you will know that it's not painted yet, other than it's got a primer on there. So I just did the interior, and just like as far as like you know this kind of stuff here, I'm gonna uh, knock it down with a razor blade or whatever, and then I'll do my paint on there too. But um, yeah, even just like you know these little posts that are here. You know, people don't smash into my wall, even though I kind of smacked it right there. So, yeah. Yeah, man, it, bang your head, man. A lot of people love that Civic, man. That's like, it's definitely a attention grabber, for sure. Looks good there. You know, we got some Rambo figures, or at least a Rambo figure there. I was like, man, this guy's a little drill, changing the oil. Let me give you guys inside of it a little bit too. Wait. Yeah, man, but it's it came out really well, man. I am happy with it. The more and more I look at it, I'm like, I'm proud, man. Definitely proud. It's, it's coming out really well. All right, there we go. So yeah, definitely smash that thumbs up, man. Uh, Show me some love <laughs> as far as this one goes, man. Uh, first time doing anything this caliber, so I'm liking it. Now I gotta get a little bit more on the, a little bit more of the uh, scale RCs going on, too. But as you can tell, like I know some people are again like with that Gen 8, Gen 8 will make it through there. Gen 8 is definitely a big truck, man. Nice garage. Yeah, I appreciate that one, Riff Raff. So let me go ahead. I'll back this up a little bit here too. All right, so digging it, I'm liking it, man. This garage, oh, I'm digging the garage. Yeah, the Civic. Yeah, the the yellow Civic's getting worked on, man, for sure. First spot. <laughs> you like the Bondi, like that Bond worker? Yeah, she's new. She's our, our new recruit. She's part of our uh, marketing department. <laughs> yeah, man, so uh, definitely liking it. It's pretty cool just to kind of mess around with it anyhow. I mean, I just kind of sat here for a little bit for only like a minute or two, just kind of staring at it. I'm like, man, it's come a little ways, man. Um, you know, last couple of days, just kind of cranking away, painting everything, getting high on the fumes. Uh, I had a lot of fans going on. It most of this, and then some of the stuff, like I did, the, I painted the floor outside. I was going to time lapse some stuff, but honestly, it's pretty consuming as far as just to do this anyway. And I was like, you know what, to stop and do that. You know, paints are drying and everything like that, and I got to get them kind of done. So I was like, I, I need another hand. So I didn't record all that kind of stuff as far as I would have liked to do some kind of like time lapse of me kind of assembling and trying to carry everything out and manhandle everything. But, um, you know, it is what it is, but um, at the end of the day, at least it's complete, and you like, hey, man, I did it. So I've been posting stuff on Instagram, too. So if you're not following us on Instagram, I've been throwing little, you know, snippets in there as well. So you can check us out there. But, um, again, like I said, as far as my table goes, I mean, I think I just used that cloth and just kind of made it. It's actually um, my battery charger station. So it's on wheels. So I'll probably have to make something else up eventually as well. But um, you can't help stare on that thing, man. That thing looks so dope. Let's see. A lot of work went into that. Yeah, great. Yeah, man. Definitely a lot of work went into it for sure. And still a lot of work to do on it. But it's one of those things like I don't really, now that I have at least assembled, kind of take your time, at least with it too, what, how it's sitting, I can roll this thing out, move it around, spin it, whatever. And then, um, but it's heavy. <laughs> so it's really heavy. Um, where it's a little, I, I've had to shim stuff up a little bit because the way that the table sits right now, it's a little bit uneven. So I was like, oh man, things are going to pop out if this roof drops and, you know, it smashed my cars or whatever else. So I had to make sure everything is uh, nice and shimmed up. So we got nice balance there. So yeah, but I'm digging it, man. Great looking. Oh yeah. Appreciate that, Ryan. What's up, man? Yeah. Um, it's coming out really well. So I don't know. Maybe you guys throw some ideas as well when it comes to the logo because i really want a logo that's going to light up so i was trying to find some stuff on ebay as well they have some stuff that's like led strips which i'll probably put led strips inside so i can kind of change the colors and kind of set moods i guess to something like that 
you know, kind of make it red or, if you, you know, like for Halloween or something. Like, I don't know. But that kind of theme it a little bit like that, too. I thought it would be kind of cool. And I'll, I'll probably do, you know, they'll be down the road, probably do some other, like, maybe unboxings where the, the car comes out. We'll lift the garage doors up, and then the car comes out. You know, we'll kind of spice it up a little bit. I want to do some stuff that's different. I'll obviously with the 10 scale stuff for sure. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to find, like I said, as far as those LEDs go. So I'm going to see what I can kind of come up with. There's, I knew a guy that before where he used to make sign letters, but I don't know if they'll make them that small, you know, as far as that goes. But it'd be cool to put LEDs in there, OMGRC. Because I don't want to paint it on there. I really would like to um, have something that kind of stands out. So I've been looking at other people's logo. I, I was kind of aiming a little bit towards like a the Mercedes because they're really like kind of like a silver and black and everything. So that's, but I, then I want to go with like something a little bit more traditional as far as the garage as well. There's a Mercedes dealership that's not too far from us. So that's kind of like the o, OMG RC was kind of a little bit on that logo as well, like AMG, OMG. And that's where I started getting that from. I kind of, so yeah, there's a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of background to why I did OMG anyhow. It's really one man's garage. That's my garage. So, so that's what the, really the OMG stands for is one man's garage and then radio controlled. Um, that's what I kind of aimed it towards. Anyhow, I was like, yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, you guys, um, trying to think what else here, man. No. Okay. So let me. All right, this kind of, it hurts a little bit as far as to even talk about this one. Um, just because of the fact that as far as, but it's a team associated. Um, I'll probably send an email out. I'm going to, let's realistically, let's see, tomorrow, Thursday. Fr I'll probably send one out Friday. Somewhere around there. You guys let me know. It's a team associated, the DR10. Not the orange one. There's a green one that's coming. There's a green DR10 team associated one that's coming out here soon. Uh, also, um, so... I'm a little leery on that, man, because I because I didn't get my orders through last time, and that doesn't settle doesn't sit with me really well. So that was one thing. I don't know. I'll have to see about that one. But on a lighter note, uh, if I do it, I, I'll probably post a you know a, a pre-order on it, and I'll have to make sure ahead of time and say, hey, if I'm gonna pre-order just a couple of these things, I want to make sure I'm getting mine. So so I was already talking to my sales rep on it too. I said, look, man. Got it. you did me wrong last time as far as with those orders. So hopefully we'll see what happens. But I, the green one sounds pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I need to hit up one of the. I had a few guys that wanted some afterwards. They're like, hey, even if you get one a little bit later, let me know. I might still grab one from you. So I was like, all right, man, I appreciate it. So look out for that email here. And if you're not already signed up to our newsletter, go ahead and sign up. Go to omgrc.com down at the very bottom. You'll see where it says newsletter. And just put your email in there. I really don't do a lot of emails. I am the one that actually sends out the emails as well. I've been updating the website. I actually have to go through all the uh, Red Cat items because there's like, it just says like the car and there's no description that's in there. So the website's been kind of one of those things. So I've actually have kind of walked away from the website for just a short time to focus on this. Um, yeah, that's profitable, but you know, sometimes you gotta put yourself in a different place. And I, this was kind of one of those like a little bit happier spot to kind of be in than having to deal with that website for a little bit. So most definitely. So I'm hoping to have, but I will start doing, you know, I'll start getting that website updated. I would like to really tink, uh, tweak it a little bit. I've got a lot of questions in the last week, man. A lot of people have been asking me a lot of the things. It's kind of weird. I know there's Google out there for a lot of the stuff that people ask about. And there's some stuff that maybe people just can't find on the website. And they're asking this, prompting those questions. So shouldn't really have too many questions on the website other than now I know that it's not really working the way it should. So it's kind of a bummer. So I have to start tweaking that a little bit more. <clears throat> but I'm only one person, man. So it's, so, um, but if there's anything that you're looking for exactly, I would say always good at, better as a text. We have a messaging service on our website, but it seems like once you leave, it's kind of like the message still sits in my box, but the problem is then if I try to reply to you, you know, pretty much it's gone. So then there's, you know, abandon ship as far as when it comes to the message. Because I get a lot of messages at night and I'm talking. So maybe these are people from California or wherever or overseas. I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll get them from overseas as well. But um, I was going to say, yeah, so those, those messages sit there for a while. So people come late at night. I really need to put the phone number or um, a time on there as well to say, hey, you know, we're operating from 
you know, eight to five or something like that. Kind of let people know. We'll see about it. But yeah, man, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with this. I need some water. Huh? My little light. So, um, what else should I put in there? I mean, okay, we're gonna do like a lift. I have to keep looking for the the lift for the garage. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might know. You know, like, oh, uh, you know, I don't know if like, I know there's a lot of stuff that's on eBay, you know, for the most part, a lot of that stuff, or I can 3D print some of it as well, like what I've been doing. I actually picked up some more paint. I'm like, almost over with paint, man. It's just like, I'm not a big paint person in the first place, and I was like, oh man, there's a lot to this thing. But uh, it's been really cool anyhow. I didn't, almost didn't have enough black, so I've gone through a lot of my cans of spray paint that I just had over the years that have accumulated. I was like, Let's just use it up, and it's just kind of squirting out, whatever. I'm like, whatever. Well, you know, I'll clean myself up. So, um, yes, so that's where I got the black from. So uh, a couple other stuff as far as the red paints, you know, it's just like, um, I don't know what brand they are or whatever. Uh, they're not expensive. But, yeah, it's been pretty good. Joe, do you answer the text MSV on the bottom of your site? Depend well, it depends on what time people are asking me, too. You know, as far as that one goes, I've been overwhelmed with the, a lot of people asking questions on there. Um, and some of them are like, people are asking questions that are on the website. It's like, can you find it? Like, you're, they're really specific. It's like, if you would just put it in the search, I don't know what, if the search isn't working or what, but I'll have to look through it as well. But I'm not really sure what the deal is where people are asking a lot of questions and I figured they would be able to search on there so there's something obviously broken on the website there's a lot of less there's a lot of loose ends still to the website because I actually just wiped it all out actually I had to have our Shopify their top level wiped out the whole entire website and then had to upload everything all again and I've had a lot of people you know there's a lot to it man there's you know some of its time wasting as far as with some people this call they just want to yak and it's like okay um, I can't sit here all day man <laughs> as far as that one goes it's, you know it's a lot I mean there's quite a bit to it but I'm trying to answer questions if I can answer them like I said before some of those are people leave them in there and then of course I'm like hello no one responds and then of course that answer you know doesn't get answered so that's why these live ones are pretty good as well I would like to do something like that where it's like hey you got questions we can try to find them on the website there's a lot so uh, what's up Taylor Tyler sorry <laughs> Mini Snap-on Toolbox. Oh yeah, Hell Rider got that in there. It's sitting in the back. Let's see, put... Let's see here, Joe, do you? Yeah, so for sure. RC, uh, let's see, RC. Put a rack of tires now. Now, bottom wheels. Oh, calipers. Oh yeah, display. Oh yeah, but I have, oh, okay, 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 gotcha, 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 gotcha. So I do have, I don't know if you saw it in there anyhow, RC Addicts Garage. But, but uh, I got the so I got a tire I got a tire rack in it. It's in the, actually on the other side of the garage, so that's in there. Um, I got the wheel. I don't have calipers. Calipers to display. That's kind of cool. I actually I do have some. I'm just sorry. Nah. I was like okay. I can't see it, but this was, I think it's off of Kyosho or something. I was like, oh, chrome caliper. Actually, caliper, that's the rotor. Sorry. I don't, I don't have the caliper, sorry. I was thinking the rotor. Yeah, it's just, get it right. Yeah, I'll have to, I don't know. I could probably print out some rotors. Caliper, sorry. We'll get there. Back. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man, I appreciate it. Tyler, what modifications have you done? Oh, so, um, Tyler... On the uh, the Gen 8, it's got, it's actually, it's the original Gen 8, but it has the Axe Edition electronics in it, and it actually, so the Axe Edition has the Hobby Wing Axe Edition, so it, let me think, I think that is a, it's like a 2400 KV motor that's in it, brushless motor, and then the actual, so it's a brushless system that's in it, and then it has the um, red, uh, the Reef Servo. I think it's like the 422 HD V2. I'm not mistaken on that one. So it's got that servo. That servo is really uh, nice in there. And then the radio that's off I have for it too, like a FS, I think it is, GT5. And yeah, I think that. And then I have Kamali front wheel, front axles. Yeah, so there's a little bit of that. But yeah, man, it's uh, 
I'm digging it. Now I have to put other. I gotta put the stock wheels or something on there because those wheels are. They don't really help. I like it lifted like that, but they kind of bind up on the body. So I'll probably I'll go with a little bit smaller tire. Yeah, make it easier for that thing to go in and out of the garage. But it still goes through there. It just clips it a little bit. Maybe a 3D print. Oh, a welding. Oh, yeah, the welding tank. Yeah, I looked at those, like the uh, argon tanks and stuff like that, too. I was going to do those. Some of them looked a little bit cheesy. And then some of them they want you to pay for. I'm like, I'm not paying for it. They look kind of, some of them Some of them look good. Some of them they ask for like 20-something dollars. I'm like, I could go and buy it for that price. Why would I want your file <laughs> just so i don't i don't get all of it but we'll see rotor oh yeah the rotors too a guy on a pc doing engine testing mini test oh yeah 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 that'd be cool so the rotors too oh yeah a guy on a yeah on the pc yeah uh yeah doing the engine the engine test uh, mini posters so we're going to do that stuff as well so we're going to probably get like some tvs i'll probably 3d print some tvs so we're going to do that. We'll put some images on it. And also, I was looking at a dyno. So I was looking for something like that too. So we can, you know, have like a little graft on there or whatever and do some kind of dyno. They have different dynos anyhow, but I mean, not like a real dyno. I've seen some other ones and they're a little bit like, you know, to kind of gauge them. But we'll probably do some kind of little dyno that's in there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So definitely a lot of the feedback. But yeah, some kind of engine testing thing would be kind of cool as well. I would definitely like that. Um, where the actual, I know I'm pointing at it and you can't see it, but um, just where the door is, the window, as far as the office area, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that if I'm going to box it in. We were talking about, like, Brian and I was like, man, we could put a loft up there and because it's got quite a bit of ceiling height on it. You know, you're only seeing, you're only seeing the red, and then you still got, I don't know, let's see, where the red's at. The red's at right here, and then we still have, like, all... So we still have a, a pretty big gap of, you know, as far as where we can go. Now it'd be good like for a lift, because then you could raise the vehicle up high enough and it's not gonna hit the roof or the ceiling. So it definitely has a lot, a lot of stuff in there. Oh yeah, a tire balancer. Yeah, I've looked at a lot of that. So there's a lot of good ideas too. Uh, let's see. That's why I got my, my pencil on there. Oh yeah, okay, so let's do this. Let's do, we'll do the tire. Let's see the tire. What was the other one? The welder? Yeah, I was looking at the welder before. Uh, the tanks. Yeah, those are like the welding tanks there. Let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, the rotors. Oh, um, caliper. I know you were talking about the caliper, too. So. But yeah, uh, I'll have to get a lot of, you know, this was just kind of staged this thing earlier today, and I posted on Instagram. I was like, oh, let me get that. Let me do this. And I want to make sure I had the OMG in there, OMGRC sticker. I was looking for other stickers. I'm like, I ran out of stickers, man. So I know I've been promising a lot of that as far as this, you know, like, oh, we're going to get shirts or whatever. It's just, uh, I got to go with Brian, man. That's my, if I knew how to do it, I would have already had it done. That's the only thing about relying on anybody else. Like, oh, I want, you know, if I could do it myself. But, um, but he's got some pretty good ideas. I just need to work with him a little bit so I can kind of tweak it to what I like because, I don't like, yeah, I have, you know, I gotta make it just right as far as that one goes. Yeah, the workbench, I did, so I did have, let's say I don't have it here now. I do have, there, you can't see, well, yeah, I have a, a toolbox that's in, or a tool chest that's in it, but I do want a workbench. Thing is, with like the 3D printing, I do have some pieces, this isn't gonna work or anything like that, but sometimes when I'm 3D printing, it, this is uh, just so anything that's overhanging, this gives it, it, it adds a little bit of, of uh, let's say the plastic, the PLA in there. And uh, just to give it structural support as it's going over an area where there's no support. So sometimes I get like these little pieces here. This is when I actually printed out the interior for an RC vehicle that I never used. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I like to make some kind of little bench. I actually was probably need, now that my uncle, he's kind of moved on, he's like, okay, got something else going on. I would like him to make a bench or a couple benches out of wood. I think that'd be better than the plastic. So uh, maybe down the road I can get him like, hey, can, can you make some 
little scale benches. I have to give him all the measurements and stuff like that too. Or I just have to make them myself. He's got the tools and stuff over at, you know, at his shop. So, or his, at his house. So yeah, man. Uh, make a lounge. Oh yeah, a lounge corner for sure, man. Oh, let's see. Oh, you know what I need? Yeah, I need energy drinks for sure, man. I need that refrigerator, that snack bar, the couch. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, I need all that kind of stuff. So yeah, man, this is definitely, I like it. I like it. I like it. Appreciate the feedback, guys. Because uh, sometimes I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, man, what else? But I did do, I did turn out like little, let's say Coke cans or whatever, and they were just too small and you really couldn't see them. But I do have some clear, so I can have like little bottles and stuff like that. It doesn't come out completely clear. So I have to make make something up there as well. What's up, Eleven Charlie RC? Appreciate you joining in, man. The scale. Oh yeah, man, it looks awesome. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of time in this thing so far, but um, it's it's well worth it. I love it. It's look it's pretty awesome. So I definitely appreciate you stopping in and showing the support, man. But hopefully you're doing good as well. So we're just going over a little bit of the. Uh, Excuse me, a little bit of, you know, things to put in the vehicle, inside. Um, like my friend Brian, he's got a little arcade. I was like, oh, yeah, the arcade. So that's where I think the loft would be kind of cool. You won't be able to see that. But I got some ideas for this thing, too. Once something else comes in, eventually, um, be able to kind of get that little bit of, it'll be kind of cool. So, but yeah, I like to make some, maybe some kind of loft or something like that. So I have like a little gaming spot or whatever else that's in there. Kind of switch it up. We can always at least even make materials that you can put them in there and take them back out. So if you don't want to do that, you, so just interchangeable pieces. So I like it. I like it a lot. Oil bottles for sure. And I got them surrounding me too. I got a lot of oil, old vintage uh, oil cans that are here. Marvel's mystery oil. <laughs> I, was, I was moving stuff around. I was like, yeah, yeah. So there's Lots of stuff. Um, I'm sitting in here with all kinds of different. Uh, I like to do a lot of the. Uh, what am I thinking of? Yeah, like motor oils and all that kind of good stuff too. I have it. Oh, you have a consultant fee? Okay. Wow. Oh. RC Attic, man. <laughs> I have to get you back on here too, man. So, um, yeah, your, con your consulting fee. 20%. Wow. 20% of what? Yeah, man. Hey, 11 Charlie RC, I want to let you know too, man. Um, probably should do it off camera or whatnot. But um, I was going to tell you, I didn't get the, I never got the shirts <laughs> as far as that one goes. So I already contacted uh, the Teespring, or yeah, I think it is called Teespring, or whatnot. So we're working out everything now. But I just want to let you know, never got those. So I was like, okay. There was the whole epidemic deal. Or pandemic whatever <laughs> as far as so i don't know what happened with all of it but i'm like they're like okay well we'll take care of you so yeah so i don't know what's up with that one ebay has the endless supply of scale product. i've been looking at a lot of scale stuff as well on ebay as just to get some ideas because some of them like oh i can print some of that stuff out too so we'll have to see let's see i forgot some rc daniel what's up man sorry that let's see i just fixed my traxxas uh power cell battery it hasn't been charged over eight years. Wow. Jump started in my drill battery. Oh, with the drill battery. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think that's... I will contact them also to see what happened. Yeah, it's... They said it was already shipped out a while ago, like back in April, like 15th. And it just... It never... Nothing happened. So I actually contacted my card company or whatever. I was like, hey, man, these guys are... I told them, like, you know what? I haven't gotten anything... So, uh, but I've been in contact with them too, as far as Teespring, just to kind of let you know. So, uh, we're on top of it as far as that one goes. So, I'll have to get some other shirts from you again at a later time too. So, it's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to get those, but nonetheless, uh, let's see, 20% of the value of the uh, garage, everything. In, oh, hoo ha, brother. Yeah. So, um, I'll hit you up again, bro. As far as that one goes, 11 Charlie RC, uh, definitely. Um, and actually, still, eh, yeah, I wish it was a little bit cooler, man, but I can't, you can't wish stuff away. You know, it's like, you just have to kind of just suck it up and, uh, gotta head over there one day. You're still on, you know, you're on the, uh, East Coast there in Florida. That'd be kind of cool. Even if it's just for a few hours, just go over, you know, hang out with you guys, whatever you're trailing, or hit a little trail spot real quick, you know, run around, 
be all good and then uh, you know leave you know as far as that one goes but something like that I like to do uh, I definitely like to do something like that and I know I've talked about it quite a bit we just need to plan something out because um, I, I don't want to be in the heat for too long anyhow so I'm not really much into the, the hot weather <laughs> definitely Joe let's plan that yeah man I know you do a lot of stuff for the veterans 11 Charlie RC so I know your time is consumed quite a bit all different stuff but you know if you have sparing time you know hit me up on that too so um, I don't know how long it would take to get over to, man, like an hour and a half two hours something like that all right let's see here let's see what do you what do you do in Kissimmee bro is like oh halfway oh yeah we can do something in Kissimmee yeah yeah Kissimmee actually funny you say that too I actually found some pictures uh, I was looking through my old emails and stuff like that and I found old pictures of my my Honda CRX and then I was buying a I bought a Civic hatchback like an SI in Kissimmee so I was like okay so uh, that's not too far so Kissimmee is not too bad uh, yeah we could do something like that I don't know what's all around in Kissimmee but um, yeah for sure let's see here I don't know if I missed anything else but I hey man uh, you guys I definitely appreciate all the support smash that thumbs up if you are new here definitely consider subscribing but I uh, definitely appreciate it guys uh, I hope you guys are digging this RC garage and I, I, I definitely like as far as you guys give me information when it comes to different things as well so tire balancer welder calipers the couch you know the lounging couch whatnot so I like that kind of stuff that's really cool so um, too bad my you know I was thinking about because my daughter you know she had she had a dollhouse at one point in time but honestly those da dolls are kind of large and it's like that's not going to work but um, they're a little bit bright but we can always change the colors on some of them but that stuff's all gone that she did have but it was kind of funny it's like oh man it's just trying to find stuff um, trying to find like small stuff you know other than printing a bunch of stuff on the 3d printer I'm like okay what else I like stuff to look a little bit more realistic but I found like you know like the oil cans and all that kind of stuff too where they actually have little labels but I know you can print them out I don't have a colored printer I usually just only thing I'm printing is either on black and white and I'm printing out labels to ship stuff. So I really don't typically have a color printer. But I know people are like, yeah, hey, yeah, you need a color printer. And those things suck up a lot. I'm always worried about those things, uh, the ink drying out before I actually get to use it. It's like pretty much if the ink dries out, get rid of the printer, buy another one. So sometimes if I can kind of go again. Oh, let's see. Oh man, I appreciate that Hell Rider man. Appreciate you stopping in. So yeah, Friday, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we'll do a live video on Friday. But I want to kind of give you guys this update too on it. Um, I was trying to think if I was gonna make a video on it. I'll probably I will probably make a you know like a high resolution, a 4K video of the garage once it's a little bit more complete. Maybe we'll I actually might do one depending on how everything kind of goes tomorrow. Uh, if Brian, depending on what time he comes over or what have you. Then we'll start, if we're going to start painting anything or whatnot, I still have to trim like the garage doors because after I put a little bit of paint on there now, a little bit too much on there, so I'm going to trim them down a little bit. And I want them to be able to go up and down really smooth so I can put either put them on servos or something to uh, you know lift them up so I can have them manually go or automatically go up. So that will be something that will happen as well. So, yeah. Lots of plans, and you know, it's just I'm gonna take my time with it at this point. I want to kind of dress it up just to kind of get it to where it's at now. And I said, okay, now we can think about it. You know, and I can think about like the logos and stuff because I was gonna have the logo just on like either I was gonna 3D print it, and I could still do that, or you know, just, like I said, just trying to find those LED lights so I have some LEDs in the lights. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah. Um, but I think that's, I think I'm going to get out of here, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to video out tomorrow. and But if I do, I'll actually I might do a little bit over in regards to the Team Associated DR10 again. Once I have pictures, I'll have to get pictures posted up on the website, send those emails out to you guys, and uh, see what we think about it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to give you one more tour of, um, since some, maybe some of you guys are still watching, I'll give you a tour of the garage one last time here stoked with this thing now I could sit here all night and look at this thing anyway I just really like it so yeah let me give you one more tour of the garage 
But see you later, Island RC Duke, man. Appreciate you stopping in, man. So I'll give you that one last tour. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have to have like the lounging area. Yeah, man, appreciate that, Riff Raff. Always good stuff, Jill. Yeah, man, appreciate that, 11 Charlie RC. So we'll get, we'll get some other, we got, we got plenty of space in the back here. We can definitely, uh, we got some ceiling height as well. We can definitely um, uh, put more stuff in there for sure. We got our toolbox chilling in the back there with some turbos. Yeah, man. So loads and loads and loads. So I'm, I'm happy, man. All right, I appreciate all you guys. Definitely smash that thumbs up before you head out of here. Yeah, last little bit of that. So again, yep, we're still working on this garage, man. Good show, bro. Oh, I appreciate that art, RC attic garage. It's definitely an RC attic garage, that's for sure, right? So later, guys. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome.